Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is another Spy Family Saturday and today we're gonna be watching episode 10. Last week's episode was really nice. We got to see more interaction between Lloyd and Yor. Kinda see them trust each other more. Okay, Lloyd did kinda follow around Yor um, and spy on her. He had to do it because this whole mission is riding on the back of him. And so I understand why he did that. And luckily he found out that Yor is fine. I would like to know who she's working for. And and like this whole assassin business that she's in because we don't even know the details of that yet but with that being said we're gonna get right into it if you enjoyed the video feel free to give it a thumbs up you can subscribe me down below we are watching through kaguya sama on the channel and i'm gonna be starting mob psycho soon which i'm very excited about but without further ado let us watch episode 10 of spy family Oh, it's Mr. Mr. Eleganto doing some running look at that fit okay pop off dude and that is true. You know, Anya was just sticking up for herself. The whole country needs to be elegant. Agreed. Wow. Right on the dot, right on the alarm, they're all opening up their windows. Yes, his parents weren't there. That's so sad. I bet he feels like he has to live up to his brother's expectations too. Yeah, he's feeling that pressure. Mm. Oh. <gasps> Fayad. Dodgeball, yes. Mm. Are we gonna have a mini training arc <laughs> with him preparing for dodgeball? I hope Anya wins though. They're fighting again? Don't call them an uggo <laughs> shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Henderson is gonna have a time with them. <laughs> I feel like this is just what regular kids do though. If you have a school of elementary kids that don't fight like this, I don't know, I feel like that's very rare. Yes. What if this isn't even true though? Mm. Yes, training arc time. <laughs> to do them in. <laughs> I don't know if Yor should be teaching this. She is probably meaning a literal killer move. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Oh. Oh, sit ups are the worst. <laughs> Death defying sit ups. <laughs> Lloyd's just sitting back and watching. What the fuck? <laughs> Yor is terrifying! <laughs> Visualization, I feel like actually really helps. From my time in sports, at least. Also, I love how Lloyd is letting Yor take the reins with this. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to hear this name. Let's go! She is prepared, she is ready. Oh, they're on the same team. <gasps> they can work together. This is how they can connect. Mm. <laughs> Oh, 
That's so sad. And I know Anya is like empathetic to that. Maybe they could both get a Stella. We don't know a lot about Anya's parents either. Like Anya's birth parents have obviously not shown her any attention. They dropped her off in an orphanage. Who knows when? And so I feel like her and Damien can connect in that way, which could be really nice. All right, the great dodgeball plan. They look so cute. Who is that in the back there with the glasses? Is him? What? <laughs> What? Why does he look like he's like 25? No way. How old is he supposed to be? He's supposed to be six. Oh my god, no, that's just unfair, isn't it? <laughs> no, this guy's annoying. This is just not fair. Okay, Anya can read his mind though. And understand his shots. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. Not on the... Yeah. Formation G, all right, let's see it. <gasps> they tried. You know what? I appreciate his his will. Shadow clone attack. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god! This is so dramatic! The sacrifice. Mm -hmm. No, that had to have broken a nose. Or at least his teeth. These poor kids! The kid in the back is like... <gasps> oh my god. Anya! Anya needs to do something. All the training that Yor did with Anya... I feel like she can beat him. <gasps> Let's go! Mm -hmm, she can read his mind. <laughs> now, how does that work? Yes. So elegant. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> oh my god. Is Damien gonna sacrifice himself? <gasps> Yo! Oh my god! 
gosh, the fact that he did that though. Deep down. No, deep down. He is a good guy. She's got this. Do it for the Stella. Do it for Damien. <laughs> I love her. Let's go. <laughs> Amazing. <gasps> Let's go. Look <laughs> at my little hands. <gasps> No! Anya! No! I'm so sad. No, Bill sucks. It was a rumor. Oh! Oh, let's go. Okay, how about Damien and Anya, though? Because they both did very honorable things. Yes. <gasps> okay, maybe Damien doesn't get one. <laughs> it's not useless. No, that was the end. These episodes go by so quickly. I think we only have two episodes left as well. Dude, I cannot believe that kid was six years old. Was it all because of jeans? I mean, his dad was ginormous as well. I think it was all jeans. I think that's what they said. That was such a fun, lighthearted episode. And we, and it also progressed relationships and characters solely with Anya and Damien. Damien quite literally sacrificed himself for Anya. And now we kind of know like the internal mindset that Damien has, like he just wants his father to recognize him. His parents did not come to the first day of classes uh, or the first day of school where they all, where all his classmates took a picture with them and their parents. And now Anya knows this too. He wants to be great because he wants his father's attention, because he wants to live up to his family's expectations. And I feel like Anya can connect to that in some sort of way. So I feel like once they actually become friends, they can help each other out. It just might take a while. But I know subconsciously, Damien likes Anya. And so we're, we're just taking baby steps with with this friendship, with this relationship, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me for this episode. I think we have two more episodes left, episode 11 and 12. So I cannot wait to see how this first core of the season is gonna end. I think the second core is gonna premiere in the fall. Um, correct me if I'm wrong though. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next one. All right, bye everyone. Bye.